was goody everybody for the win Itachi here you know what it is thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new update in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon we're gonna be getting into it right away pretty much what was released today on July 1st of 2016 was a cinematic and a bunch of brand new Pokemon were revealed for the Pokemon Sun and Moon Alola region so let's get to it it's only on a Nintendo 3DS with Pikachu doing the Pika all day new Pokemon have a beard Got the Guardian of the Melamele Island, so it's not the Guardian all of Alola. I don't want people to get that too crazy out there, but it's Electric Fairy type, which is pretty cool. It's probably the coolest Pokemon out of the whole thing. Tapu Koko's ability is Electric Surge, which gives you that electric feel on the battlefield. And what I love about this is it's home and basically looks over one of the islands. Not everything in the region, but one of the islands. Now, grabbing from a previous video, was released. Now we got Charger Bug, which is Bug and Electric. Ability is Battery. And of course, we got the last evolution, which is Beaker Volt, which is Bug and Electric as well. I mean, I'm calling it a toaster, because it's Electric type, but it also could look like a GameCube. I mean, it looks weird. It looks like something straight out of Minecraft. But Beaker Volt, which is the last evolution of that one, is really cool. Now this is Drampa, aka the Grandpa of Dragons, the normal Dragon type. Berserk and Sap Zipper. It actually looks very cool now that I'm looking at it for the like 20,000th time. I gotta say. One of the ugliest Pokemon of all times is Bruxish. Jinx! Smooch him! I'm sorry guys, got new big lips here. Water Psychic, got that dazzling and strong jaw ability. I don't know what to say, but it's ugly ass. And one of the cutest Pokemon is Cutie Fly! Looks like a bird with a bug type, but it's a bug fairy type. And it's got that honey gather and shield dust abilities. And of course, you always gotta have a Pikachu. A Toga Demaru, electric steel type, iron barbs and lightning rod, looks like a Togepi, a Pikachu, and a Pachirisu put together. And of course, discover Zygarde is full power, which I covered in one of my previous videos on Pokemon Sun and Moon, probably the latest one. And get your Pokemon Sun and Moon game in December, uh, November of 2016 on November 18th. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What was your favorite out of the brand new reveals for Pokemon? Based off of my opinion, again, this is my opinion. I think this is the ugliest generation of Pokemon I have ever seen. And I'm going to hate on it. But, I mean, it, it's something Big Lips got to go. And when it comes to the new bug type, aka brand new Caterpie, brand new Weedle, brand new Wurmple, with the toaster dude in the middle, I mean, the final evolution of that takes over the whole chain because the first two look ugly. Toaster Man, I don't know, that's straight out of Minecraft. But the final evolution of that chain is absolutely great to look at. I love it. And then um, Big Lips, I mean, that's just gotta go. I'm tired of seeing the Big Lips, man. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let's get on to the in depth portions of each and every Pokemon we just saw. Starting off with Tapu Koko is a special Pokemon that protects the area and where it lives. It's also called the Guardian Delta of Melamele Island, one of the islands of the Alola region. I've seen tons of YouTubers saying it is the Guardian of the Alola region. Sadly, no, it's a Guardian of one of the islands. Although it's known as the Guardian Deity, it's a surprisingly fickle Pokemon and will not necessarily come to your aid if you need help. Despite that, the Pokemon has a strong sense of curiosity. If it becomes interested in a person or another Pokemon, it may come to play or battle with them. Tapu Koko's ability is Electric Surge, an ability never before seen in Pokemon. Electric Surge fills the field around with the Pokemon's feet with electricity when it appears, raising the power of any electric type moves for Pokemon on the ground and preventing any Pokemon from falling asleep. Tapu Koko can learn a new move called Nature's Madness, which slams into an opponent and reduces the Pokemon's HP by half. Tapu Koko's category is a land spirit Pokemon. It's got a type of electric and fairy, which is a very cool and unique typing. 5'11 with that height, 45 pounds, and of course with the ability of Electric Surge. Tapu Koko can store up electricity by enclosing itself in its shells on its arms, and it also appears to enter this form during other special times. The next Pokemon that we saw and witnessed is the Toaster Dude. It's a battery Pokemon, Bug Electric, height of 123 pounds, and its ability is battery. Charger Bug stays perfectly still. 
in preparation for evolution and often spends time with its body half buried in the earth. Charger Bug is able to store up electricity. It can store enough power to run a household for a whole day. The power source can be provided to other Pokemon, so it can also serve as a battery. Charger Bug has the battery ability, an ability not yet before seen from other Pokemon. The battery ability allows it to raise the power of allies' special moves. And the evolution, the final evolution, which is a very cool looking Pokemon. Stag Beetle Pokemon, Bug Electric, 411, 99 pounds, Levitate, Vikavolt is like a fortress that zooms through the forest. Firing a beam of electricity from its mouth, its huge jaws control the electricity it blasts out. Vikavolt is adapt to acrobatic flight maneuvers like tail spins and sharp turns. It can fly at high speeds even as it weaves its way through the complicated tangle of branches in the forest. Vikavolt clasps Charger Bug with its legs and uses it as a extra battery. Even if it battle drags on, it can use the electric power from Charger Bug to continue firing out powerful moves. When Vikavolt is engaged in a fierce aerial fight, it releases Charger Bug to make itself lighter and increase its mobility. Next up, we saw Toga Demaru. It is a roly poly Pokemon, electric steel, height of one, seven pounds. Abilities are iron barbs and lightning rod. It's a roly poly Pokemon that gathers electricity and stores it. The long needle that grows from the back of its head works as a lightning rod to attract electricity. With this reservoir of electric energy, Toga Demaru is able to release powerful electric type attacks. Covering its body is a pattern of fur with strands like needles. That means that Togemaru can roll itself up and presto, it's a ball of prickles. Some skill trainers have developed the strategy of getting other Pokemon to unleash electric type attacks on Togemaru, which absorbs their power to use in a response attack. On days when lightning strikes, you can sometimes see Togemaru gather and bristle up their needles, waiting to be struck by lightning. We also saw a pretty interesting Pokemon, Drampa. Placid Pokemon, Normal Dragon, Height of 9, 407 pounds, Berserk, and Sap Sipper. A dragon that lives alone in the mountains 10,000 feet above sea level. Since they can't obtain the berries they feed on at that range, they descend to the base of the mountains at dawn every day. Drampa loves communicating with people and Pokemon. Drampa are especially gentle with children and often appear at schools and parks where children gather. While Drampa is usually a very gentle Pokemon, it can fly into a rage if a child it cares for is hurt in some way. The dragon breath move that it fires off as such times is powerful enough to blow down buildings. We also witnessed Cutie Fly, a bee fly Pokemon, Bug Fairy, got no height whatsoever, very small. Weight is 0.4 as well. Abilities are Honey Gather and Shield Dust. Cutify can detect errors of living things, including people, Pokemon, and plants. They search out flowers by the color and brightness of the errors and then gather the nectar and pollen. When living creatures are excited, it seems that their errors resemble those of flowers in full bloom. As a result, these Pokemon tend to gather near people or Pokemon feeling particularly happy or sad. Cutify mostly lives in the fields and meadows of the outskirts of cities, but they sometimes appear in towns and even inside buildings drawn in by emotions of living things of the community. Last but not least, the most ugliest thing of all times, almost as ugly as freaking, what's, what's its face, Jinx and Shroomish, I mean, Smoochum, there we go. But Big Lips is back, Nash Teeth Pokemon Water Psychic, 241 pounds, Dazzling and Strong Jaw. Bruxish, I, I, I don't even want, I don't even care, emits a strong psychic power from the par protuberance on its head. When its opponents are bathed in its power, they're stricken with a terrible headaches and fall unconscious. As it emits its psychic power, it grinds its teeth loudly. Oh, I do not want to hear that. When nearby Pokemon hear the sound of Bruxish's teeth gnashing, they sense danger and flee immediately. In the Alola region, lifeguards let Bruxish remain in the areas to prevent dangerous water-type Pokemon from gathering there. Bruxish digs holes in the seafloor leaving just the protuberance and his head exposed while emitting a low level of psychic power. This serves as radar, so when it detects prey, it can leap into attack. 
Now, I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. Again, post down below what was your favorite Pokemon that has just been released. Fulu and Itachi is out.